What's up everyone, it's Tom Dizzo here. Uh, I hope you guys had a great weekend. Um, yeah, and uh, this week I wanna kinda go over a few of my trades, uh, you know, that I took. Um, you know, also kinda more like a trade recap on, on those. And uh, also to answer, uh, I think, uh, you know, one of the questions uh, a lot of new members have been asking lately. Or like, you know, I've been receiving a lot of DMs regarding this uh, issue, which is the liquidity uh, you know, if your stock is liquid enough, liquid, illiquid, or whatever, uh, or like, you know, the volume for the low hanging fruit, you know, what is my criteria and, uh, um, on that. So, uh, and, you know, basically, uh, like, uh, more like a basic stuff regarding, uh, liquidity. So, yeah, let's, uh, uh, get on to it. Um, I'm gonna bring up the chart here. Um, I took few trades. I mean, you know, I'm I'm not gonna go over uh, trades I took from Monday to like Friday, so you know it just really doesn't make sense. Uh, you know, you guys seen me posting a chart in main chat, so I'm just gonna go over the ones that I took on Friday. You know, this is like more like a fresh um, ones that you guys can still remember the the, the ticker. Uh, so the first one I'm gonna go over. DD, I mean, this is like the total, you know, non niche for me. And I took this trade, uh, you know, near the open. You know, I was thinking about 950 line, which is, I think, the pivot here as well. Uh, no, uh, it's more like, uh, it's more like, uh, you know, uh, who in half dollar mark. Uh, I try, okay, man, it's like putting on the wrong one this one yeah DD here uh, trying to take out you know this uh, into 950 I mean I, I should have you know probably the thesis is more valid if I took a near the red to green uh, you know kind of you know uh, place here 986 and once it reclaim I should have stopped right uh, but it, you know it really doesn't matter anyway you know so if I took it here or here I'm gonna uh, uh, get stop out anyway, right? You know, uh, because I completely forgot about the fact. Oh, it's like you know, once I took this trade, and I realized that that wasn't my niche because of the market cap. Market cap was sixty billion. So this is more like a, you know, a large cap company, and I shouldn't be trading this at all, right? I shouldn't be placing this trade. Uh, and the moment I got in. And then, you know, I asked myself, so what was my edge right here? And and I immediately realized, okay, so this is like 60 billion company. You know, this is not in my playbook. I shouldn't be trading this. The only time I would trade large caps or like, the, you know, the big market cap company is on the first red day. And that's it, right? And uh, this is more part of, you know, like more like FOMO for me uh, popping back you know from almost like nine ten i was thinking you know broken stocks right i mean likely uh it's gonna get to this line and then uh, you know rejects uh, see you know pretty a uh, big sell off here throughout the day more like low hanging fruit to me but uh you know I, I i shouldn't take this trade at all uh yes i mean you know if you were patient enough for this line 10 30 also 1060 here yeah you could have bang right but uh i i just don't want to kind of you know stress about it and just want to show you know, like this is like a really more like a fomo i got in but i realized right after that i shouldn't be in this trade in the first place so i took it off right away yeah but as you can tell here like 10,000 20,000 right so if you're trying to get at 3 and get out at you know 2.8 here if you're using 100 shares you know or like 500 shares you're gonna get in and get out really with ease no problem with that right but if you're using like 10,000 50,000 100,000 shares yes you're gonna have a problem okay unless you're hiding size um, or like you scaling on the way out maybe you know on every like one cent you want to get out like 10,000 shares or like you know 1,000 you're gonna split your orders into like 10 or 20 orders on each one cent right so and 
I've been getting a lot of questions about liquidity from a lot of new members. Uh, I mean, so it's like you really need to ask yourself, I mean, is it really that important to you or not? Okay. Uh, I would say the only thing you should focus on is uh, the like like the level two here, right? Like the the liquidity, like if stock is liquid or not. I more like I care more about on those uh, the the spread basically, right? So let's say Amazon. I I mean if you see a spread, this might not be example. You know if you see a spread, something like you know uh, three thousand uh, like uh, three thousand three hundred here and three thousand four hundred. So you down instantly like you know hundred bucks, right? And if you slamming you know the bid or the ass. You you down like either way on that hand, you know. So that is the the spread that you know I worry about the most. So which is like you know you can tell if stock is liquid or illiquid, right? So if the spread is way too big, yes, the stock is illiquid, right? So not a lot of you know volume coming in, not a lot of people are uh, trading this one. So that's why you have you know really wide spread between the bid and the ass, and uh, you know which is. You know, really illiquid. And on something like NO, NAOV, you can see here, you know, this is like after hours now, uh, but 244 and 246, just two cents, right? I would say this stock is liquid enough for you to get in and get out. Also, you know, the, the spread is not that big. So if you are new members or like if you are new to trading, this is what you need to look at. The spread between the bid and the ass, right? You don't want to be getting in something like let's say 1.94 and 2.94, right? So it's like a dollar spread. So if you short and you slamming here at, at 1.94 to get in, you down instantly a dollar already. So whatever size you're using, 1,000 share. I mean, I don't think on something a wide spread like this is gonna fill you with that much you know shares okay usually on those illiquid stock the wide spread there's not really many volume at all maybe you know 50 or 100 or like 200 something like that so to me this is what I'm looking at the most uh, if it you know has a you know wide spread like this illiquid stock I don't want to be trading those you know it's really hard for me to get in unless I'm using really fantasy order and if it's widespread like this likely there's not much volume to even begin with right but if you see this like even you know on something like uh, NAOV as a low-hanging fruit or like you know on Acer uh, 